Check it. And then we live. Yeah, we live, yeah. All right, so the ones of Jim Bessel Orders, okay, we got the uh, bring in the um, Shabbat lesson as we always do about praying for the Lord and God. Shabbat 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 also know the, the collapse of the society, man, which is going to bring forth uh, uh, famine, death, destruction, and all those things, really, it's, it's kind of like a spinoff to the last lesson that we went into. Basically, a lot of you, you, you jinx out there, you're going to get rolled up on, man, by these troops that he, the troops that he got, that Esau has uh, planted here in throughout America, even when they bring in NATO in different uh, militia groups, all right, these, these uh, mercenaries. A lot of you jakes in these, in these hoods, in these boroughs, in these slums, you're going to be all out be a target, man. Right along with also Esau's own, uh, own people, man, and you know other nations. All right? Well, you start me off with that in the one in Matthew that's going to give me. Kind of. Yeah. This, this is Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. One more time, brother. Sure. Kind of. This is Matthew 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Which, which is going on now? We see the wars and rumors of wars sprouted up all throughout the world, man, all throughout the globe. All right? The, the latest one, if you Jake's been paying attention, is over there in Ukraine, man. And they full blown getting it on. They're full blown, all right, uh, sending God to the spirit world, man. All right, and, and, and guess what? That's going to fire up into uh, a global war, which we know in the scriptures is World War Three. All right, <clears throat> which this which is going to bring forth the utter destruction of America. But, but but before that, a lot of other things going to happen too, including the draft. Okay, we keep bringing that out in, in the last couple of months, man. The draft is getting ready to come. A lot of you, a lot of you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans, you're going to get drafted. Man and woman, and you transformers, man. All right, he said, "Don't give a damn." You're going over there to fight in the world through the world World War Three. Guess what? There's going to be a war over here in the streets of America with the sedition amongst men. What we know as uh, uh, what do you call it? Race riots, man. Race riots are through all throughout the scriptures, and they're going to happen. They're going to be played out over here on the shores of America, from city to city, from shining sea to shining sea. Yes, yeah, if you look just across, you know, your medias and the news, protest is at an all-time high, man, right. which is a prelude of things that come. Yeah. People are protesting peacefully now. Second answer is nine. Right? You just had a, one of those guys, or whoever that was, and they got choked out, and they protested uh, uh, peacefully. Yeah, the dude. Yeah, the dude. Yeah, the dude. Yeah, the dude in New York. In New York, yeah. In New York. Salak, salak, bro. But it was a peaceful protest. They're going to become... Uh, Violent protesters, man. You know, and he's and then the, the the wicked is going to give them bricks. And now, sooner or later, they set them bricks up. They gonna set weapons up, man. All right, which help that's going to help us in those race riots. You got it. Out. If if I can make a point real quick, the only reason they're peaceful right now is because people can still go to the food, go to the stores, yeah. and get food and water and all that. They're still living in houses. When this economic collapse really hits and people lose their jobs in mass numbers mm -hmm. and these store shelves are empty, that's when you're going to see these peaceful protests go to violent rage and hate-filled protests. And the same one that say stop the violence. <laughs> Can't we all just get along? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to love somebody. Well, they're going to be the, the same ones that turn violent. Mm -hmm. they, they bring forth that animalistic uh, nature, man. All right? Uh, yeah, brothers. I got something like quick. All right. Uh, yeah, this is Second Edris, the fifteenth chapter. Okay, uh, those are what you know. Saying the elders and brothers are talking about. But, uh, I'll, I'll set up the first verse. You know, brothers can break it down. Uh, Second Edris, the fifteenth chapter, and the first verse. It says, "Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth," saith the Lord. Which we're talking about. Which we're speaking for of what prophecy, man? The pro pro prophecy foretells of what's getting ready to happen. In, in, in case in point, all right, the 
economic collapse, famine, all right, sedition amongst men. These are things that are, are, are classified as, in the Bible as prophecies, man, which is for to come. And we're telling you it, all right? That's what we're set up to do. The prophets and teachers and apostles of the men of the Lord are set up to tell you the things of foretime. Go ahead. It says, <clears throat> it says, the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith Yahweh. And cause them to be written in paper. Mm -hmm. Cause them to be written in paper. And what's, what's, what's that? The Bible, man. The Holy Bible. All right? With? For they are faithful and true. Right. And, and guess what? This, the book, this book here, this, that's what's faithful and true. Not no other book. Not no other uh, so-called form of, uh, uh, what do they call it? Don't take my tongue. Philosophy. Philosophy, man. man. Idea, idea. Only the Bible is true, man. None of those other books hold weight to the Bible, all right? Because the Bible is the only book that holds what we know as prophecies, man. Go ahead, uh, Tawan. It says, I cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee. Yep. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. God. You know, so, so, so basically it says, Fear not the imagination against thee. Yeah, and because, listen, these people, two-thirds, if you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and America, and even Asians, the wicked elite, okay? We ain't supposed to fear what they're conjuring up, okay? We ain't supposed to fear what they got set up. You see what I'm saying? You know? All right? It says, because... What is their end goal? Their end goal is to bring out this RFID chip. That's their end goal. Their end goal is to go over there in Iran and steal all the oil by via uh, Israel. Okay? Why? Because they want to get all the oil and Israel wants to destroy Iran because they know Iran wants to destroy them. But it's all prophecy. Okay? All right? Because then that's going to bring out Gog and Magog, which is the Russians. And Iran, Iran is the, the one of the very last places that don't have a central bank in it. Right, right. Central. Those, yeah, well, those elite bankers have four yeah, right, 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 right. <clears throat> exactly. They don't have a central Rothschild bank in it. Exactly. Right. It says, "Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity, which means unbelief, of them trouble thee. That speak against thee. See, you know, we're not supposed to be concerned about what people." Believe their unbelief in what the scriptures are saying, according to prophecy. You know about the RFID chip not being a mark of the beast. You know about the t time of Jacob's struggle not happening. See, that's all unbelief. You know what I'm saying? You know, so each individual brother, we ain't supposed to fear that man. We ain't supposed to fear about parents don't believe. We ain't supposed to fear about wife don't believe. You know what I'm saying? We ain't supposed to fear that our kids don't believe. You know, because just because you have a son doesn't mean that he's a man of the Lord. Just because you have family members don't mean that they're going to make it with you. Just because you have a wife, that don't mean that wife is going to make it with you. There's plenty of scriptures on that. The scriptures say those that have wives be as you have no wife. God. Okay. All right. Now, if she meant to make it with you, or your son, your daughter meant to make it with you, that's all her hands in your house by her out shots. But for now, we're not supposed to fear the unbelief of that man. It says, because they don't believe in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It says, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, and all the unfaithful is going to die in their unfaithfulness, man. Because they don't have faith in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to protect them. That's why they're going to take that RFID chip, man. That's why they're going to take that, which is in, in the Greek, the Karagma. Okay, which is written in the Bible as Revelation 13, 16 chapter and other chapters and verses, the mark of the beast. They're going to die in their unfaithfulness, man, by the nuclear missiles. They're going to die in their faith by Yahweh Shah shooting the lasers out of the chariots. Okay, it says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. And that's why you know I'm saying like the Apostle Tawah said, when that time comes, when the RFID chip is uh, made mandatory, which is the mark of the beast, they're going to get that grievous sore. Uh, because the body's is 
going to be constantly trying to reject that damn thing, right? You know, so they're going to get that pus in that head. You know what I'm saying? They're going to get that previous sword, you know? So you see, you see me brother walking around scratching. Little brother, little brother, little brother, what's up, huh? Yeah, that's what Boston Collins said, man. Hmm. He's scratchy hiding, pus coming out of, you know what I'm saying? Scratching, trying to hide. Hey, man, you know, you got to watch everybody. Okay? It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world. <sighs> there you go. Just like what the elder brought out, man. All these things is about to happen, man. Famine. You know, the brothers mentioning how, you know, people are cool now until that famine comes, man. You see what I'm saying? Then what it's going to be, it's going to be unrest. Okay? And then this, this, this chapter is going to go into it. It's behold, say if the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword. We know the sword is Esau's weapons. Okay? Famine, as the brother mentioned er uh, earlier, death and destruction. Okay, how's that death going to be come by? By 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 what? By them plagues, man. By them diseases. You know, what does that sword represent? Esau coming in and using them, them them futuristic weapons that he has, man. That he ain't showing nobody. He's going to use them on the people. You know, you got brothers in in the military that already let you know, man, that. Look, they got weapons, man, that's that's out of this world, you know? They got microwave weapons that can heat up, you know, the, 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 you know, they got sound weapons, they got laser weapons, man, Esau got all kinds of shit he ain't bringing out, okay? It says famine, death, and destruction. So famine is a big major part of uh, what's about to come here in America because they're already telling you that what? Remember when, when uh, Sleepy Joe Biden President Biden came into the uh, the uh, presidency. He says it's gonna be a dark. It's gonna be a dark winter for people, man. Gosh. You know. Oh, uh, okay. It says um. It says for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Yeah, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, man. Under who? Under so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans? No, under the so-called white man, man. Okay. He's destroying the earth. He's destroying the, the water, the food. He's a, he's, he got chemtrails in the air, man. He got the minds of the people bugged out over his satanic democracy. It says, it says, uh, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the earth. The whole, no, excuse me, for wickedness have been, it's, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. The whole earth is polluted under the inhabitants of, of their earth, under Esau, man. The sword, it says, um, and their earthful works are fulfilled. Therefore saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And that's up in the spirit world, man. King Mashal, Abba Bibbins, how we saw we are. The rest of the brothers that pass away, the elect brothers that pass away in this truth, man. They complain and say, Yahweh Baha Jim, Yahweh Shai. When Yahweh, Yahweh, when you gonna bring this, when we gonna bring this double down, when you gonna bring Esau down. You know, they continually complain and say Yahweh Baha Jim Yahweh Shai to bring Esau down. But Yahweh Baha Shim Yahweh Shai gotta do their prophecy first, man. You know, all these prophecies have to be fulfilled first, like the RFID chip, all right, which is the mark of the beast, all right? It says, um, and therefore saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will surely avenge them. You see, we're going to be avenged, man. We're going to be avenged and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them, man. Okay? Esau, you, you, you ain't escaping nothing, man, all right? You won't get... You go, who he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. It says, but my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Okay, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretch out arm and smite Egypt with plagues. Now, what is that Egypt talking about? Is it talking about the ancient Egypt? No, it's talking about the modern day Egypt 
which is America, man. Right. Okay? Because we were already delivered from Egypt by the Psalms, this was written, man. Right. We wasn't in Egypt no more, man. So it can't be talking about the ancient Egypt, it's talking about the modern day Egypt, which is America. Okay? Uh, so let me go to the point, because I don't want brothers to um, get, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, your yeah, brothers want you to break this down. Uh, this is on um, Second Edges, the 15th chapter, and the 16th verse. It says, For there shall be sedition among men. Right, and, that's, and that goes into those race riots, man. Those yep. sedition among men, all right? Those, uh, those class wars, yeah, yeah, the race wars, class wars, class wars, whatever you want to name them, all right? You that's that's talking about you so called Negroes blocking the home with the so called white man. Latinos was locked at home with the, the so-called Chinese yeah, man. Yeah. All right, out here in these streets, holding weapons, guns, you name it, man. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen on a large scale, not just here in New Orleans, but all all across Babylon, man. Yeah. All right. And the scripture talks about it uh, uh, in and out, man. They're going up in your houses, taking your goods. All right, ravishing your ravishing your woman, all type of things, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Con 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 yeah, but it, basically, a lot of you just gonna get rolled up on like that, man. All right, and it happened before. It happened what in what ninety six with the Rocket Key rise, man. It was a, was a prelude to what's really getting ready to come, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Jake down there burned down half of L.A. Yeah. during that time behind that shit, man. And how much more these young boys? The Lord didn't put the, the the fear of His anger on, on these young boys today, man. They they buck wild. They more buck wild than. Our fathers and them, yeah, yeah, fathers and some, yeah, yeah. from from the nineties, the eighties and shit, man. So they're gonna be buck ass wall out here, man. Going against, like I said, once again, going against you, you crackers, man. All in your rich, aristocratic neighborhoods, all right. The plush lawn, they're gonna Jake gonna roll over that. Then guess what? You niggas gonna get rolled on by Esau. Esau, yeah, yeah, you yeah, got F two fifties, F one fifties, and come on your hoods, man. Some with the robes, some with the swastikas, some just. Business like business attire, man. All right, blowing you niggas away. You know, it says a real against the quiet. God, it says, says <clears throat> God, for there shall be sedition among men. Sedition amongst men, man. There will be a great rebellion amongst men. All right, keep, keep going. It <clears throat> says, and invading one another. You hear that? Invading one another. You come into my territory, I go into your territory. All right. And and we 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 just all out getting it on, man. Yep. And like like the old saying, like we say down here, over there in Afghanistan and Yemen and those and those uh, Middle Eastern countries, them niggas throw rocks yeah. over there. But over here in America, it's more guns and it's more guns than people. Yeah. They are gonna be throwing lead over here, man. All right. So if you, if you if you all move in, get all queasy when the gun come out, hey, you got you got some trouble times coming to you, man. Cause the guns gonna come out in those days, man. Hmm. All right. You see what happened to the capital? They rushed the capital, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them, 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 ready for you, niggas, man. Yeah, yeah. And what else happened up there in Buffalo with that white? Oh yeah, yeah, the white shooting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It, they ready, man. And they know where to come get you at too. That, that guy drove two hours to go to the biggest hood in Buffalo. Yeah, yeah, just to shoot up negroes. Just yeah. to shoot up your yeah, negroes, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. They just, he niggas just straight flatline run on, man. You know, go ahead. Yeah, some more. Come. It says, "They shall not regard their kings nor princes." Now, who are those? Their kings nor princes? That's the the mayors, the politicians, the big wigs of the cities, man. All right. You got uh, you got down here. You got they call it TD, but you we know as a uh, uh, Latoya Kentrell. They're not gonna regard when they, when shit really hits the fan out here. It really get chaotic. Yeah. They're not gonna regard what the hell she got to say, man. Yeah. Right, the, the governor, the mayors, the, the, the different, the different top politicians, they're not gonna regard them. Really, they're gonna they're gonna be after hunting them because they've been lied to. You see, this was this is what happens when you when you, when, you, when the when your uh when when your appetite is, is touching your back, when the baby is crying, you know, uh no water, no no food, no pampers, people lose it, man. That's a very known fact. That's that's all throughout. Uh, different society, people lose it, and it's gonna lose it here. All right, yeah, I'll tell you some more. <clears throat> yeah, it says, it says, uh, it says, 
they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their action shall stand in their power. You hear that? It says the course, the course of their action is going to merely stand in their power. And what's that, what's that going to be? If, if a man deems you to be put to death, he's going to, he to put you to death, man. He's going to do whatever he wants to do, all for the, all for the sake of survival. It's going to be survival of the fittest. You learned that in what, what, science class? The survival of the fittest? That's what's going to happen out here, man. The survival of the fittest. And guess what? The only, really, the only one that's going to be left standing is the, is the elect, man. All right? You, you, a lot of you men, you're going to die over here. A lot of you women, you black women, you Latino women, you name it, you're gonna you're gonna be you're gonna be put to death, man. You know? Yeah, yeah, but explain because they're not gonna be able to stop it. Yeah, they're not gonna yeah. be able to stop it. This is gonna just this is gonna happen. Yeah. <clears throat> right. It's gonna happen, man. And the spoils gonna go to the victor, as they always do. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> it's Matthew 24 and 12. It says that because iniquity shall abound, the law of many shall wax cold. Oh man, that's all time. It says. Because uh, because the nickel is gonna bound. You best believe the nickel is gonna be in, in full, full uh, what's the word? Effect. Full effect, man. Yes, All right. And the love of many gonna wax cold, man. That's your homeboy across the street. Well, when 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 bread and water is not out here, yeah, he's, he's, he's gonna be your enemy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, that's the nigga. He always gonna get groceries on the first and the fifteenth. <laughs> he's watching you, man. That nigga always putting a big screen TV outside. You know, nigga checking your trash, man. Yeah, I've seen shit for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eating over there, man. Why they over there hungry? <laughs> you, know that, you know that sound in your stomach? Making all that noise and shit yeah, while you looking yeah, at yeah. the blind looking at you. You just bringing bags from the car. Eating and shit, man. Niggas watching. Yeah. You know, go ahead, brother. Yeah, in the NLT, uh, the CSB, it says, because loneliness will multiply. The love of many shall wax cold. Sin will be rampant everywhere. Yeah, sin, all our sins gonna be rampant everywhere, man. Yeah. All right, people gonna do what the hell they wanna do, man. That's why we tell you. All right, if a man wanna, if a man wanna commit a, a, a wild heinous act, he gonna do it. Where's nine one one gonna be at? Like, like the elders, the apostle said back then in 08, 09, 010, 911 gonna need nine one one in that day, man. You're not gonna be able to just call up nine one one and get an answer. Hello? Yes. It's a guy in my house. You got to deal with that nigga. Yeah. All right? <laughs> you got to deal with that nigga, man. Yeah, or he going to deal with you. <laughs> All right? And then, like I say, through the, through the, 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 magic, of, the magic of Esau, he just showed you through the first purge, the purges, and, and those different movies of how, how the end going to be, how the collapse is going to somewhat sit around that, man. People going to lose their goddamn minds out here. They already cuckoo. Yeah. They took the jab. All right, they jabbed up five, six, seven times. It is ready. It is ready to get out here like skin talk, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and let loose on you niggas. Go ahead. I got some more. Nah, that was it. Out. Yeah, I got one over here too. This is a uh, second Edward six, and uh, kind of going to what you were saying. Six, well, what the elder was saying earlier. This is second Edward six and twenty four. It says, "At this time, should should friends fight one against another like enemies?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and it says, "And the earth shall stand." In fear with those that dwell therein, the springs of fountains shall stand shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. You know, so the point is, it's gonna come a time where friends gonna fight one another like enemies, man. All right, because we had a, we had a, had a break of global collapse, yeah. economic global collapse, man. All right, and these brothers went into you. You have you, you niggas got the Amazon jobs. You got those those. Fortune 500 job, the critics tell you that the grind is gonna cease. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. The, the, the houses that you have, those nice plush houses in the neighborhood, they're gonna be boarded up. <clears throat> all right. These these elites, all right, right, right with you know through the spirit of how much you is gonna pull the rug up under this place, man. And we told you before that America is going on a big foreclosure. Everything is closing, man. Look like at said over 400. Uh, I think I believe mean, 400 uh, Burger Kings are, are, are going out of business, man. They getting ready to close down Walmart. Walmart niggas niggas spend niggas spend their last dollar in Walmart, man, on Capri Suns, all right, <laughs> on, on Cheetos and shit. And here it is, they going out of business, 
All right, you got some? God. <laughs> this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1 and 3. It says, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, God. and the grinders cease, because they are few. What's that grinder? You know, that, that's, a, and that's a slang term I'm on the too. I'm on my grind, son. I'm working. The work is going to cease here in America, man. Yeah. All right? We just seen what they did over here in Amazon. They just laid a lot of them off, man. Pepsi. And the list goes on. And they got more plans to, to lay off a lot of you people, man. Disney laid off a lot of people. Yeah. That whole company, Tuesday morning, they just, they gone. They about to go close every store. Yeah. And we ain't, man. For all praise to the most high, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, we, yeah, come, come. Yeah, okay, all praise, finish, I'll yeah, all praise to the most high for that, man. You know, and that tale tells to us that this this place is gone, man. It's on, it's on, it's, it's, it's going away. You got some more? Yeah, I'm on. yeah, I'll hold on. Yeah, 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 right, right. And when it says the keepers of the house shall tremble, let's talk about all these top top business Fortune 500 yeah. top Wall top dudes that Wall, Wall Street, Street that the stock market Dollar they're gonna be trembling. Yeah, and that's what happened with this uh, with the with, with the goddamn uh, COVID nineteen man. With you know what I'm saying, you know, with this pandemic, you know, you know I'm saying the keepers of the house are trembling, man, because everything was shut down. You know, and then they, they found out to be the one of the number one sectors that have the most high rate commit commit suicide. Yeah, man. yeah. Them guys lose it when that when that market when the Dow Jones the Nasdaq, all right. All those, all those uh, fashions of business uh, go down. Them niggas go take it to the roof, yeah. the bridge. They do it all the time. When the beginning of COVID, you, we seen. I mean, it was like every day somebody was. It was a video getting put up with somebody swine diving off the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't even bad. Yeah. It hadn't yeah. even been getting nothing. It was yeah. just the beginning. See a guy walking outside the highway. He looked back to the eighteen wheeler coming. He jumped in front. You know. Well, they're gonna do it again because of lack of work, man. Because the, the markets are the markets are, are, are gone. You know? And you like I said, I've been to New York, man, in, in that area, that, that area, uh what they call it? Uh Wall Street, man, Wall Street Manhattan yeah, area. Street. Man. I've been down there all the big you just see guys like, oh, yeah. walking, walking in front of cars and shit. You know, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the move, man. But when when that happens, you're gonna see grown men crying. In anguish, all right, and all you people that's into the, the, the crypto world, the, uh, the Bitcoin world, you're going to cry too, man. Because the scripture tells you in, uh, what it is, Zephaniah? I got it. You know? Get it. Yeah, you got it. This is uh, Zephaniah chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 10. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith Yahweh, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate. See, there you go. Go ahead. And a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. And a great crashing of the hills, which we go into time and time again. Those hills that they're talking about is the same diagrams. When you look at the uh, the Dow Jones, all right, the S and P. You see, you see the diagrams of what? You see hills. And we said that them hills are gonna crash, meaning the stock market is gonna crash, man. It's right there in your face, all right. And we, you know, that's for the that's for the people who. Who look into things and know what we're talking about. All right. Go ahead. <clears throat> Verse uh, 11. How the inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off. All you people of Maktesh. And Maktesh was a very known, in the old, old world, a very known spot of trading. It was like the business sector of the, of the, of the, the old world back then. What's the mm -hmm. business sector of the new world that we live in? Wall Street, man. Wall Street. They had a building. They had two buildings that they, they took, what, well, three buildings took down out there called what? The World Trade Center. What are they trading? They're trading fiat currencies, money, gold, silver. Those things were being exchanged on a, on a high level. And they tell you that these people, these people that run that world are going are gonna to cry, man. All right? Because with the, with the plan of the elites, are, they're ushering in a new currency, a new a new uh, a way of, of doing things. And you've been hearing about it for the last couple of months. The digital currency. All right? Fed now. All right? And when this hit, the, the, the most top uh, nation that's going to get affected is you, Jakes, man. 
Go ahead. Yeah, because they've been hearing it for a long time. Because the prophets of the Lord have been out there, man. That's right. Telling them that there's going to be a, a, a new form of, of currency, which is that RFID check, which is a mark of the beast. See, they ain't not listening. You see what I'm saying? So they've been hearing it about the digital currency for years and years and years and years and years. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's just that, you know, the most I blinded two thirds of your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? All right? Go ahead, all right? You got some more? Yeah, I'm not saying all that. Oh, who was it? I think Cleese asked me to stay on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 finish it up. It says, and the grinders shall cease because there are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Right, and what's that? Those look out of the window should be dark. That's talking about the future of America, man. Right. It's, it's no future. We said, we said, we said, we're gonna say it again down here. A lot of you guys that's into that world want to be, want to be the top entrepreneur, the top this and that, this and that. You're climbing a burning ladder, man. There's no future here. It's only, it's only one, it's only one destiny for America. It's utter destruction, man. Other, other. I'm talking about being wiped off the map. How can you come? In, how can you have a future in that? All right. What's the future in that when the Lord tell you that he's, you know, everything's finna cease, come to a standstill. But you, but you got guys, I mean, you, you really got guys want to get in that Fortune 500 world, that, 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 uh, that Hollywood world, man, and make it. All right. And those, those little coins you got, it's going to get snatched from you, man. All right. You're going to be asked to take the Karagma, the RFID yeah. chip. Known as the barrier chip and any other uh, different names you got for it, man. You're gonna be asked to take that. And a lot of you, you guys will, man. All right, because you're and on this side, you receive your consolation. You you feel that this is the only way I can keep I, keep what I got. I don't want to go back to the hood. I don't want to be homeless. So they're gonna keep. They're gonna they're gonna take that, that chip, man. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You got a lot of Israel guys calling up Israelites gonna take that RFID chip. That too. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey man, because remember. It's your Hawaii, the Hashim, your Hawaii shot is going to keep us from the hour of temptation. Right. Which is being tempted to take that RFID chip, which is a mark of the beast. You see what I'm saying? You know, because brothers have had plenty of dreams and visions about that, man. Yeah, how they saw certain Israelites, dudes that they was that was in Israel, being the Israelites, <clears throat> take the RFID chip. You see what I'm saying? For whatever reason. But we know. This Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is gonna keep his elect from taking it. That goes for me. That goes for all of us. That goes for the apostles, bishops, elders, and brothers. Okay, all right. The hour of temptation. Oh. All right. Yeah, which is, is a bonus, man. Yes, it is. It's a bonus, man. That that, that great hour of temptation. We all gonna be faced with that the uh, one of the greatest tests there is, man. That's the right. Test of your faith. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Go ahead, finish it up. What you got? Uh, they, when all else fell, and when everything do fail, these people, whether it be food, water, finances, there's nothing else left to have but faith. Yeah, that's why Yahweh shall say when he come back, so I find faith on him. Mm-hmm. That's right. You gonna need faith? Gonna be a damn near weapon in that. That's right. That's right. All right. A weapon of protection. It says, and the doors shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, yeah, no work. Go ahead. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And as we can see, what happened? The daughter of music is brought low. There's no more R and B. What, what? Tell me the last R and B singer the last five years. You can't name one, man. The 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 the, 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 the latest rap nigga. You don't know these niggas, man. Them niggas thinks only selling a five uh, uh, fifty thousand <laughs> records. Hundred thousand records and y'all niggas happy about it. Back then, the niggas in the eighties and nineties, they were selling millions. First week, like three hundred thousand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, then after they 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 went gold and they went platinum. You know, selling millions of records, yo. No niggas sell fifty thousand records, twenty five thousand records. Y'all happy as a hog and shit, and they get killed. Yeah, then you get killed. You niggas dying at a rapid rate. You know, Uh, music. Supposed to uh what cease the morning of people. Right, 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 right. right. It ain't gonna be no music. Yeah. It ain't gonna be nothing to cope with yeah. in that data where you could right. get some song music or yeah. something like that to where it's gonna ease 
the situation. He's the pain. No, nah, right, that's, right, that's, right, right, that's, right. that's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. Right. 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 been music in a long time. It's yeah, really, it's been, it's really been nothing but noise. Mm -hmm. All right, nothing but noise. Drill rapping is a lot of energy that you put out. These niggas, you know, conjure demons on you. Yes, man. Back then in '96 or '96, so there's only been really. It was big back then because you seen two guys get killed. You seen Biggie Small and Tupac Shakur get killed. Everybody like, whoa. Now it's a new thing. You niggas dying every week, man. Yeah. You know? You niggas just getting flatlined. Dying at the Waffle House. Yeah, you know? You got more? Oh, no, nah, that's the point. There's, there's a point. Yeah, yeah but that's, 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 that's why the brothers of the love of many, the, the love of many shall wax cold. And that's even going on to the same very day, you know? <clears throat> To love of many is waxing cold. Why? Because of what's happening in the economy of this fucking place called America, man. So, you know, when jobs get low, you know what I'm saying? When they start cutting back certain programs that the government used to have out there, what's happening, man? People turning cold on each other, man. Yeah. You know? But it's going to be increased when the family comes, it's gonna be increased when there's when there's when, when there's no jobs, when the grinding is ceased. It's gonna increase for what? When them women that's having all them, them kids, they can't feed them kids, man. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, so it's just gonna increase. So people just gonna even be more of wax and cold, man. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be even more robbing and, and murdering each other. It ain't gonna give a shit about it, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? They're gonna take a guy's grandmother, hit her side of the head with a hammer, take whatever little bit she got, and they're gonna step over her, laughing and walk away, man. Right. You know, because it's, because America is is gradualism. That that's what the apostle Tom brought out about gradualism. He saw the so-called the so-called white man, the wicked international Jewish bankers are gradually breaking this place down, man. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna be dependent on them. Right. On the system, man. Right, and the ones who closely attach to the system is who? Starting first and foremost with black women, man. Yep, You're yep. dependent on the system. Yep. So guess what? We're coming into a time where the system, the same system that you got, you got wick from, the same system that you got uh, Section 8. Yeah, yeah. All right? Uh, child support, all these other things. Well, look. Look, Keisha. You've been on this for about <laughs> going close to 18 years. We need a favor now. Right. What's that? Take this chip. You want to yep. keep this going? Yep, yep. You want to keep your benefits? Take this. You want to have that jet. A lot of you niggas have that music going on in your head for a couple seconds. Okay, sign me up. Not knowing if you just you sign yourself away. You can just get destroyed, man. All right? Then what the scripture talks about, about those who receive benefits. They yeah. have not known me. Yep. Right. You know? Hey, man, hey, all things are coming to the end. All the bullshit, the games. All right, the fuckery is getting ready to come to an end, man. All right, we happy about it. Like I said, we, what that, what that comment the dude left on the comment board? A while back, nigga said, how can y'all be happy? Like, what do you say? Why we happy that the dollar is crashing? We, 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 never, we got the dollar. Like, they like, they saying they happy that the dollar crash and they use the dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Make it simple as hell, man. Make it simple as hell, man. No, he was dead shit. Like, go back to that. Working. Matthew, you mind if I bring out a point in uh, Zephaniah? Yeah, go ahead. When you read, uh, I'm going to read it again. Zephaniah. Oh, brother, brother. This is, that's all I can. That's, that's all I can for. Before you bring that scripture out. Now, that simple minded Negro said, Why are you happy that the dollar's falling? All right, brother. I just bring out, I just want to bring out one scripture, brother. I just want to bring out one scripture, brother. I just want to bring out one scripture, brother. One scripture, if you go with this. They will be for a half of a narrow second hour. Let, 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 let me go here. Let me go here. Second Ezra, the 13th chapter. Let me go. No, not second Ezra, 13th chapter. Second Ezra, second Ezra, the sixth chapter and the ninth verse. See, this is why we're happy that the dollar's going down. Okay? All right? It says, um, second Ezra, six and nine. It says, <clears throat> uh, no. Second Ezra six and nine. Uh, second Ezra is <clears throat> yeah, second Ezra six and nine. This thing is falling messing with me. Oh, you want me to get it? 
Yeah, yeah, get it, get it. Get it. So this is Second Andrew 6 and 9 says, when Esau is the end of the world. Yeah, the there, there you go. There you, that's it. Uh -huh. Esau is the end of the world. See, we know <clears throat> that Esau is a so-called white man. So we know that him <clears throat> bringing in the RFID chip is his downfall. Okay, according to prophecy, all right, because what do the scriptures say when he's about to fill his belly? Okay, uh, so somebody get that for me, right quick. And brother, finish reading, elder. Somebody finish reading, somebody get yeah, that. Yeah, in second Edward 6 and 9, it says, But Esau is the end of the world. Esau is the so called white man, so he's the end of this world. See, this world is going to end when the so called white man Esau brings in his RFID check, Go ahead. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And Jacob represents you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Asians, Dominicans, Latinos, and Native Americans. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. And that's why we're so excited that the dollar, that's why we're so happy that the dollar is going to be taken away and he's going to bring out his what? His RFID chip. That's right. Okay. That's why we so happy, man, because Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of following. Then we gonna be in rulership. Yeah, his downfall is our come up. Right, his downfall is our come up. Okay, brother, get that. Yeah, that's the book of Job, chapter twenty, verse twenty-two. It says, "In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits." In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. But see, so when 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 Esau is coming to bring this 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 RFID. Chip out, which is the mark of the beast mentioned in the book of Revelation 13, chapter 16, verse. Go ahead. He shall be in straits, meaning a, a position of difficulty. Because that's when everything will start falling apart for the so called white man, man, for the wicked elite. Via what? This third world war. Okay? As soon as those Amalekites over there in Israel, okay, go in and do war with Iran, guess what? They're going to drag America right into that war. And then what's going to happen? Russia is going to get in that war. China's going to get in that war. And all the other nations are going to get in that war. It's going to be a third world war, man. It's, it's pretty much show you that with uh, the, the BRICS situation. Yeah, the BRICS situation. Everybody yep. take, people taking sides now, man. Yep, yep. People really jumping to take sides. I'm with them. I'm, I'm, I'm going with them, man. The hell with the hell with America. Mm -hmm. The hell with the dollar. This is what we're rolling with, man. All right? The BRICS went from what five? Then you put in that at nineteen. Then they got more people asking to join them. Yeah, like, yeah join it. Yeah. It's like this, man. Yeah, yeah. This shit didn't. This shit didn't slow it real it's fast. Fast, man. Right. right. That's why the apostle said it before. When when one of these when one thing roll out, it's gonna be a domino effect. She gonna go quick. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna go real quick, man. And as you see, the nations is they pick sides. We're rolling with Russia. We need our own held the dollar, man. You know. <clears throat> And then, like I said, it is what it is, man. If you can't see that nigga, why are we happy about the dollar collapsing? Hey, so be it, man. Yeah, yeah, so be it on him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what, does, what does the scripture say? Uh, he that is uh, filthy, let him be filthy still, yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, you blind, nigga, you just stay blind. You ready to die, man. I'm not worried about you niggas, man. Uh, yeah, that's what the scripture <laughs> said. What? He's going to plead for the Lord. He's going to plead for his people in the valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Yeah. He's pleading for his people. So when this third world war comes, yo, man, that's just good, man. Because Israel's going to be delivered, man. The elected Israel's going to be delivered that day. Which are these so called Negroes, Latinos, Americans. There, brother. Man. And and that's, that's the nigga that's looking back. You know, he's, he's like, yeah, he's, he's like, like, looking right, back. Right, right. Like that scripture we bring out in Luke, that uh, he's a nigga that's going down for this. He don't want to lose his stuff here in America. Yeah, yeah. You know? He don't want to lose nothing. That's why he'll say such a thing on the comment board. He get all tight. When, when, when the men of the Lord are in joy because we see the prophecies are happening, man. That makes a nigga mad, huh? He's going to lose it anyway. He's going to lose it, huh? Hey, brother, but that's so much I don't know it, brother. <laughs> you know? But he ain't got nothing. For real. He don't want to know nothing. For real. Yeah. No Jake ain't got nothing making a comment like that. That nigga like working at McDonald's, man. Yeah. 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 A nigga make a comment like that. He sound like he sound like a nigga that go to trash on. Yeah. Or maybe you sound like a, a, a greaser type nigga, man. Yeah. You just degree shit in there. He don't. He's gonna let you cook off your cash register, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a the practice thing. Yeah. He a pressure washer type of nigga. Yeah. Right. Going out the back door a bit. Yeah, man.
<laughs> Bullshit, bro. Go ahead. Yeah, Jake don't have dollars, but worry about the dollars. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Bro, bro we got some dollar sign nickname. Yeah. yeah. You oh, know? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. All right, bro. This is uh, Joe 20. And 22, it says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straight. Yeah, in a position of difficulty. All right. Every hand of the wicked, which is the laborers, shall right. come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, Woo! the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. Yeah. And what's that? He needs to be ready to fulfill that new world order, man. Yeah, baby. And that's been on the thoughts of these elites from the beginning, since they established America, since they brought Christopher Q. Ball and all them goddamn criminals over here, they've been minds been what set forth to bring in that new world order, man. Mm -hmm. Establishing full control of the whole world, making everybody cattle, man. Gorium, all right. And that, like my man, uh, I mean, you know, that I believe they killed him. Uh, uh, Aaron Russo said, man, oh, yeah, the yeah, end Aaron Russo, yeah, yeah, Aaron Russo, yeah, yeah. the gold, in goes the chip, everything. yep, 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 I said, go, yep. <clears throat> give me that in uh. Galatians, I believe it's Galatians 6. Come down for me. Kind of, Galatians 6, and let me get a little bit more in it. Kind of, kind of. Go ahead. It says, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yeah. Why even in, it's full blown in the midst of trying well, to establish it, man. New world order. That's right. That's right. That, that's that's when we gonna be that's when they're gonna be taken down, man. Yeah. That's when Yahweh Shah is coming to deliver yeah. his elect, man, and bring that nuclear war, that third world war, that, that nuclear war, man, to destroy yeah. this fucking place, America. So, yeah, man, we, the elect, listen, man, the elect yeah. men of Yahweh Shah yeah. is yeah. happy, man, yeah. that this dial is going down. Brother, the, the, the more and more hell happens to this place, the more closer we are to yeah. the kingdom of heaven. God. Yeah. It says, he shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bull of steel shall strike him through. What's the iron weapon? What's the bull of steel? The ICBM yeah. nuclear missile, man. ICBM. All right? The real peacemaker. Right. All right? All right? And, and, and it's coming for the heads you you you, you eat them, Mike, man. All right? <clears throat> Via Russia, China, mm -hmm. uh, NATO, the, your own mother, uh, uh, Britain. Britain. They're going to they're gonna send nukes over here to wipe your ass off the map, man. All right. Be shot, hate the horn, and burn her refinery. Oh, yep. yep. Mm -hmm. You know, the her is referring to America, the beast is referring to the, the NATO and the EU. Yep. Uh, it says, it is drawn and cometh out of the body. Ooh, with the body. The silos. The silos, man. Which, 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 uh, which, when you go into the, throughout the scriptures, the, 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 uh, the missiles have many names. They have, yeah, it's yeah. the missile, it's the arrow, mm -hmm. it's the, it's called a horrible star or star. Glittering sword. The glittering sword. Uh, the flying serpent, it's many names, all right. But those, but those, it's coming out of the body, it's coming out of those, those, those silos from the ground, man, or whatever else. Esau got them on all type of places, man, you know, submarines, you name it. But they come in, they come in to bring forth the destruction. Go ahead, God, it says, It is drawn and cometh out of the body, yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. Oh, yeah, terrors are born, you know. I can just add real quick to what the elder was saying earlier. The souls of the just are complaining, asking how Lord. He was saying these things have to happen first. Prophecy right. has to happen. Prophecy so to happen first. When, you, when you look at this Job 20, it's like, okay, the economic collapse is going to happen, then the missiles. Lord not going to destroy this place before the, the MOT. Right, right, right. 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 Yeah, the order of the prophecy, man. He's not going to jump no steps, man. Yeah, yeah. that's right. See, the Lord got plans of bringing his man down to the break of his knees, man. Then he's gonna he's gonna waste them. He's gonna straight, straight, you know, get rid of him, man. Yeah, he's gonna bring Esau into his highest wickedness, his highest, his highest uh, uh, wickedness, which is that R five E chip. And once he does that, yeah, that's it, man. Once he brings the R five D chip, which is the market beast, all right. And then and then once he um the R five C which is the market beast. And once he come against the men of the Lord, yeah, that's it, man. That's it for man, this devil. Yeah, so no, no, you're right, bro. yeah, and then once he comes against the men of the Lord, it's a wrap for what he saw, man. And so, so yes, please bring in your RFID chip, make it mandatory as soon as possible, so we can get the f up out of here. Hey, man. That's, that's why we be happy about shit like that. Yeah. Why? Why are you disturbed? Why are you mad at us? Because we happy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God damn! What you about to say? Hey, just to add to that, I was a 
basically how he how the Lord is going to judge him for bringing that chip forward if he never do it. Right. So right. the Lord won't want to charge him with that. Mm -hmm. So so he have to commit it. Like he gonna let him commit it, mm -hmm. so he can what charge him of it, so he can right. judge him for it. Mm -hmm. you know? In the fullness, he it need to come to his full. Mm -hmm. Which right here, this is Job. Yeah, you got some this Job five and twelve. It says he disappointed the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Right, and that's that new world order, man. Yep. All right, which we in we in the, the first stages of it right now, man. All right, we in the first stages of the new world order. All right, the first stages of, of that full blown police state, man. Because that's what's coming next too. All right, he saw from the, you thought you thought the, the C nineteen lockdowns or something. You ain't seen shit, man. Yeah, you ain't seen nothing. These devils are gonna full blown lock this place down, twenty four hours lockdown. Stay in your home. What, what the hell? The information I brought up uh, a couple of months back. It's they are gonna give you three days to be outside. Yeah, fifteen minute cities. Yeah, fifteen minute cities, man. If you don't get inside, you gotta ride your bike. Huh? They, they, they gonna tear your ass up. Huh? You know, <laughs> helicopter going with, with with the big spotlights patrolling. Any looters, anybody you call outside, they gonna they gonna they gonna they gonna kill you, man. It's like the movie Code Eight. Yeah. Uh, you saw that? You yeah. saw so Code Eight when they you know they own everybody. It's just it's gonna be a police state. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Right. Gonna police everything. Right. We, we already there because yeah. what happens when you you go when you go into these 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 uh, major cities on the outskirts of these cities, you got average everyday police officers looking like what military yeah. military yeah. soldiers, yeah. Right? Yeah. helmets, cameras. They got the full gear. They, they not even carrying Glocks anymore. They carry ARs, man. Yeah, yeah. assault rifles. You know, assault rifles and shit. Why are they patrolling, man? Squad cars. They got. You got MRAPs and shit. So they're ready. They're, 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 they're putting it in your people's face. They just, they just need to do it. Just hit the button. Call the green light, man. All right? And you can't say that they can't do it because this with the, the so-called Boston bombing. They, they, you know how big Boston is, man? They shut that shit down. Yeah. Like this. Like this. Just uh, okay? It's, a, it's easy. It's an easy thing to do, man. Then you got, they got Project uh, Zypher that's been, that's been going on. You wonder why your, your lights are turning off? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, shut down on the lights for two hours, an hour. Now they're doing that shit and they get you in, in the motion of, oh, the lights just went out. And then they're going to come, come at nighttime. It's like people that talk like us, they're going to try to come and snatch us up, man. It'll never be seen anymore. And it's already in motion, you guys. It's funny you talk about that. I just received a message yesterday saying that my lights going to be cut off tomorrow on Thursday from 7 to 12 o'clock. <clears throat> I this just received that. Yeah. <laughs> I just exactly. received that. Exactly. They said the help, the help, the lights not go off for further, further, like in the future. Like they basically like they, it's not for construction or nothing. Just so yeah, this would happen. We had to want to say oh to preserve. I'm, I'm gonna show it to you, bro. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened to us. That that yeah. that uh, happened to us out there in Georgia. Damn lights went out for a couple of hours too. You know, what I'm you know you know, so yeah, you're going to see that's happening. Well, that's happening. Well, well, that's that's happening. Well, I know that they took the video down. I know that for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's but he sucks. Oh my God, man. We're going to get out of here in a little bit, too, man. Yeah, but it says in the NLT, it says, <clears throat> he frustrates the plans of the schemers so the work of their hands will not succeed. Yeah. The, the work of their hands, the, the new world order, don't yeah. succeed, man. All right? And you're not gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna accomplish that new world order at all, man. You're not. All right. You're not gonna crown with success your enterprise. All right. Mm -hmm. And see, the brother also, why you, why you looking for that? He can, he can jump back to that Galatians. You know, this, this, this is why. Galatians tells it all. But why are you trying to do that? You jump to the Galatians. Yeah, you could. I know what you're going to the market. Yeah. The market, I will buy it because if he perform his enterprise, that means that he let men. Gonna have to what get it because yeah, yeah. he gonna rule yeah. everything. Right, right, right. That mean they gonna get it, which gonna upset biblical prophecy right, right. that they not gonna get. Right, right, right. So yeah, you got it. But this this scripture proves that. This is Galatians six and seventeen. From henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Yahweh. Go ahead, get Mark. And this is Mark, which should be familiar in the Strong's for Galatians six and seventeen, G forty seven forty two. Stigma 
which in the outline of biblical usage, a mark pricked in or branded upon the body, an ancient oriental usage, slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander, branded or pricked, cut into their bodies to indicate what masters or generals they belonged to, and there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with the tokens of their gods. One more time, my bones, y'all. God, this is a stigma, which is the same, the, the same chai size stigma huh. in Revelation 13 and 18. Um, uh, yeah, G4742 stigma. A uh, mark, I'm not going to get the root word first, from a primary stizo to stick, i.e. prick. Yeah, the stick, yeah. the prick, because you got karagma, which is the actual... The actual mark of the beast, then you got uh, a stigma, the, the stizo, which is the actual, basically like the syringe, man. The thing that you actually prick, and you actually you, you prick and put under the skin. All right? <clears throat> Go ahead. <clears throat> Hammer, so to speak, to put that all, that digital yeah. all in you. You got grapho. I think it's grapho. Yeah, that's the root. That's the root. Basically, like that's the information of the service yeah, 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 yeah. that's, that's going to be put on those the on biometric, the biometric right. part of the, of, the, of the chip, man. They got all your information. It links you back to the system. All right, go ahead. In the outline of biblical usage for stigma, a mark pricked in or branded upon the body. Mm -hmm. Right hand, go ahead. To ancient Oriental usage, slaves and soldiers bore the name, hey, the name, right. <laughs> Or the stamp of their master or commander, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Duponts, the Gettys, the Fords. You, they want to make you their slave. They want to make you their cattle, man. Mm -hmm. Then what you do? What you do? You have back. In, and they still do today. You have farms. And you got large amounts of calves and, 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 and animals. You brand them with the emblem of your your your, your form, your name on them. Or you put the tag. You prick the uh, the ears and you put a tag on it, man. Yeah, yeah. No. You know, this is what you do, man. This is my, this is my slave. They did it, they did it down, up and down here. You know, you know, when we always go to the Florida lease, the Florida lease was a sign of, this was a slave, a white supremacy slave sign of a runaway. So that's what the, it, it's all want to do to the whole population of the world. They want to make them, they're slaves, man. Go ahead. You mind if I read Revelation 13 and 17 real, just real quick? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Back in stigma, a mark pricked in or branded upon the body to ancient Oriental usage, slaves and soldiers bore the name or the stamp mm -hmm. of their master or commander, branded or pricked, yeah. cut into their bodies. Cut into their bodies. What that, what that, what that, uh, What's going to happen with the chip is going to go in the body, man. All right? In your right hand. All right? Or with the forehead, it's going to go up your nostrils, man. All right? And like I said, we already go in, we go, we did it before, went into Neuralink. All right? With, uh, uh, what's his name? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. They got black, another one, like black, black Rock something, which already is in planting. BCIs or brain computer interface that they've done into like 50 people already with different health elements. And then you got another company called Synchron who's also put those brain computer interfaces in people. Bore the name or the stamp of their master or commander, branded or pricked, cut into their bodies to indicate what master or general they belong to. And there were even some devotees who stamped themselves in this way with the token of their gods. Right. All right. And guess what? A lot of you going you gonna to do it again, man. All right. You got, we got a couple of more and then we get out of here. You got the, yeah. you, you, you put the other one up for it. Okay. Because of that. Yeah. All right. You got some? You got some? Yeah, we, we just probably ended on y'all too. Oh, no, brother. I got one more. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Spirit got off on the other side. All right, this is uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. Yeah, and that devil is being Esau Edom, the so-called white man. 
No, he's not some uh, mythical creature with a pitchfork. It's actual a man on this earth roaming the uh, streets right now. If you go out there outside your door, you see a cracker. And that's the devil, man. Mm. You know, and he's got this plan, you know, to come down on Israel, man. You got a fucking knuckleheaded <coughs> so called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And I, I go on, it says, uh, having great wrath because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So, yeah, this devil, he know the prophecies. He knows he's getting close to Yahweh Shah coming back, you know? So he's going to put all hell on Israel up until then, that, to that point, man. You know, and, and a damn thing you niggas going to be able to do about it. You know, that's outside this truth. I got I got to back you up. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Acts chapter 10, verse 38. This is now, oh, it says, how Yahweh anointed Yahweh Shah naturally with the Holy, Holy Ghost and with power, who, uh, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil from Yahweh was with him. Now, who was the devil back then? The Roman Empire. All right. So who was the same? Who was the, who was the Romans today? The so-called white man. All right. And they said he was oppressed of the devil. So that's another scripture that shows you he was called the devil, man. All right. He was a physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan on earth, man. You know, and when you go into it, we, some of you brothers have been around for a couple of years. And we always ask that question of like, tell me one thing good that the white man has done was good on good on earth. And it goes to straight Jeopardy music, man. Every time you can't you can't name it. Even if, even if, of their own people. You ask even my age, tell me one thing that people have done good on earth. Well, you know that's a good thing. That's, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. you can't, man. But if we go into tell me some evil shit you've done, there is a laundry list of things, man. To the heavens. To the heavens, man. You got some? It's a whole video, but it's in paragraphs. Yeah, that, that's something I was looking at. I bookmarked that. Book 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 it's a whole video, but just transcripted. Yeah, read that real Because we, like I said, we like to back up what we say, man. We prove all things. So this is, you know, the brothers went into his lights going off. And we're talking about how, how, you know, what they're doing, man. Right? Lead them to the to collapse of society and then to come up against the, uh, the elect. So read, that's a, you know, that's a transcript of the video they took down. Uh, or Project Zypher. This right. uh, first they talk about Project Pogo, which these two projects work in, in tandem with each other. Project Pogo is about YouTube gatekeepers. They are all agents. They are all paid to put out truthful information so that they can tag, track, and ID the people that are watching the videos, giving them likes, and giving them comments. They are tracking all of it. Now, Project Zypher is a different project. And that's what I'll talk about in a bit. That's the second stage here that's coming up, and that is the termination. They're going to exterminate these people, whether it is tag them for anti-Shemitic speech, charge them with crimes, eliminate them completely. And this is where I'll talk about it in documents where they talk about guillotines, viral attacks, viral a pestilences targeted how they are going to eliminate these people without too much suspicion, without too many people noticing. And Project Zypher has changed. In the beginning, they had been talking. They were talking a lot about, okay, we are going to infect these people with a pestilence that imitates the flu pestilence. They are going to eliminate them in various ways that would not be suspicious. In the documents that I have now from three months ago, they are saying the amount of people they have to eliminate is too large. It's too many. We're talking about millions of Americans. And this is where we see their plans are changing. And they are going to initiate something that is devastating and that is extremely frightening. And based on what I can see in the documents, we're talking about power outages along with a purge. They're going to come in. They're going to take you out of your home. And they're going to put you into a military vehicle or whatever a ban, a drive you away, and place you into a camp. Because these pestilence and particular things, it's not killing the people fast enough, right? Because it's like they have more and more children. So they're going to have to do something that takes out what? A whole mass majority of people, man. They're tired of just killing a few of them all. Like, this is not working. Okay, you get a couple hundred thousand, a few thousand, maybe a million. That's not enough, man. They're going to bring in the hammer. You got to go in. Yeah, we shall hammer the earth broken. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, the hammer the earth is talking about America, right? Right. You know, 
that devil shall come down in great wrath. Great wrath. We, we got it right here. Yeah. We got it right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Good. Hey, get it, get it real fast. Well, before we continue, we're going to go some, some more, then we're going to get to it. We'll hit it on you. Uh, no, no, brother, I got a scripture. Oh, yeah, right. I, got, I, got one. Cut I got one more brother. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, bring that scripture real fast. Bring, bring it back up. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Wait, hold on. Like I said, rejoice. We're not supposed to be happy, you say. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we're supposed to rejoice, man. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know? But the devil is come down unto you having great wrath. Yeah. Yeah, this crack is gonna be pissed, man. Yeah, you know? he's pissed now because the truth <laughs> has come out. The spirit uh -huh. of the so-called white man has been risen, first and foremost by the prophets of the Lord, man, exposing this devil, man, on all fronts with this Bible, man. This this two this two-edged sword. All right. That's it. A little bit more, because he knows that he has but a short time. And then the devil know it. He know that the, the, the powers of the how about Shah Shah is gonna uh, uh, basically take all power and shit from him, man. So this devil is going on a kamikaze mission. He's gonna take a lot of you with him, man. Yeah. So he's yeah. going out, man. Yeah. You know. <clears throat> go ahead. I right, go back to that. Uh, defend that on, on a highway to hell. It is a very very big operation that they are planning. It's millions of Americans. They will do it under the cover of night, under the cover of blackness, during one of these planned blackouts. The that's, bla that's, really, that's why these the rollout blackouts have been happening all throughout the cities. Throughout the planet, man. And then getting you used to them happening, so you yeah, think it's yeah, something yeah, normal. Yeah, something normal, right, man. All right, just like they do, they show you all these military vehicles, they put all the fucking soldiers, at the NBA games, <laughs> uh, NBA and NFL games sitting on the sideline, you niggas is used to the military people, man. All the while they're just massaging it in to when they go with their move, go ahead. The blackouts are, based on documents, I'm just looking at it right now, they have a three-day blackout, they have a nationwide blackout that lasts two days, and a lot of localized blackouts, <laughs> local <laughs> areas. Local area. So it is a whole series of blackouts that they are mm -hmm. that they are going to do, and of course it will be blamed on all kinds of things. That's also a prelude to that, to them EMPs they gonna come with, man. Yeah. To where they gonna shut the whole grid down, yeah. not an area, right. the whole a whole right. section. Right. 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 Half the America gonna be cut off, man. Right. Right. You gotta go. And they've been doing that dumb shit down here with energy, saying, "Oh, it was a cat." I don't know. Yeah, it was a cat in one of the rafters. <laughs> oh, it was rain. Dude, like, what the fuck? You know, that's what they tell you people. They tell you people any goddamn thing. You know, they tell you the truth. They tell you any goddamn thing. You believe in any goddamn way. You know? Ooh, real quick. And you know that, that, that Edomite, Dennis Quaid, just came out with a documentary called Grid Down, Power Up. The film outlines the risk and consequences of a U.S. power grid going down leaving the nation without electricity for an extended period of time. What's that going to do? Right. The, same, the same thing we went into. It's going to bring all the freaks, goblins, and goons out, man. Mm -hmm. When that shit happens, you, you, the wildest niggas are going to get yeah, let yeah, out yeah, on these yeah, streets, yeah, man, yeah. having their way when the lights go off, man. The freaks going to come out. Uh, yeah, them prisons going to be... Yeah. Damn, prisoners going to be released. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, bro. And all the Tookie Williams are going to yeah, be yeah, running yeah, around yeah. running That's right, that's right, that's right. And like I said, you skeezers, you're going to get snatched up too. Oh, man, easy, yeah. easy. Yeah. That's light work, man. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. light work. Yeah. That's yeah. light work. Yeah, man. <clears throat> so it, it's going to be on, man. You see, it, 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 it's, it's all about order out of KO, man. These devils gonna is gonna bring the the, the, uh, the chaos in order to get the order out of you. You gonna people gonna be begging for martial law. You are gonna be begging for the right, people yeah, to step yeah. in, man. All right, that's an end of minute more. There's a, a little bit more. All right, they might blame they might blame it on Iran or what? <clears throat> North Korea, which they say has those EMP satellites, yeah. rotating in, a, in orbit around the U.S. And China with a ditch or Russia with a cyber attack, an EMP. I have seen that mentioned in the documents. They have already prepared the people for this. 
there are going to be more blackouts that are already predictive programming. So we may see more of this as we go on. As far as I can tell from Project Zypher, they are planning this next year and the year after 2020, 2021, because it's an older document. But right, right. what did they talk about it preceding the blackouts? Uh, pestilences taking out people. And what happened? 2020, 2021. So if that happened and the next stage is the blackouts, then what's the next stage? Roll up on your ass, man. <laughs> yeah, all you Alec Jones uh, fanatics, you're going oh. to be smashed up. They mentioned. All right. And, and, and Poco. Oh, all you. It's Stagel, Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. You <laughs> that nigga. He paid it all. Yeah. Uh, Alec Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What did Alec Jones say? David Ice, what the name is? I, David Ike. Yeah. David Ike. And with that move is EMP 2023. 20, 20, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that you yeah. told us get on with is EMP 220 some days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, something yeah. like that. It's like under that Tubi movie. But the thing yeah, is, about the EMPs, they cut the water off after that. Hey, like, why? The water, the water, a lot of these major cities, you know, just like they had the water yeah. running on electric grids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. They run on electric yeah. grids. Yeah. Yeah. So turbines yeah. and shit. That goes with it. It was to say back in second Ezra six and twenty four, and in, and in three hours the fountain shall not run. Yeah, yeah. because it's... over here this brother stayed right across from the shit, man. <laughs> so yeah. the people that run the water, these motherfuckers got machines down here that's old as World War Two. The machines are built in World War Two. <laughs> she got fucking wood pipes in the ground, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's nothing to end. They, what happened yesterday? They yesterday they flooded. That shit. Yeah, the turbines right. don't work. They they be shutting off. That brother, that brother here, he, hey man, they get hurricane see, they better get the hell out of the hell out of the water. <laughs> hey, we learned that shit. The grids went down for five days, yeah, man. Yeah, these the niggas was up. Hey man, these niggas was buck wild out here. Going to people's houses and shit. They yeah, had the arrows on top of the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shotguns and shit, trying to protect their shit, man. But then that's just gonna be that's gonna be even more on a, on a lower scale. Nah. You finished you finish that, right? I just you brought up Alex Jones and you know all these other characters out here. Yeah. This is a part of the first the first project, Project Pogo. One really interesting aspect of all this is that the gatekeeper channels and the shield channels, typically these will be disinfo channels. We are change all those little different channels, man. Uh, uh even even your man Richie from Boston and shit. You know, go ahead. AM TV with, with Chris and mm-hmm. Green. Yeah. TNT. Disinfo channels like AJ, Alex Jones, for example, has been a long time disinfo Z Ionist channel. Very, very active in deflecting people away from Z Ionism. Alex Jones talks about everything, but he never talks about the small hats. So, this is an active mm-hmm. disinfo channel. That has been around forever. And we always say, like we say down here, the people that you can't talk about shows you who's 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 in control. You can't talk about the small heads. You can't talk about the transformers, man. <laughs> all the switches. Mm-hmm. All right, all the alpha the new alphabet boys and girls. So they tell you who's running shit. You know? Go ahead, huh? <clears throat> Now I'm going to talk about it. What is the purpose of this whole operation? And the purpose of this is to put out truthful channels to attract people to them. They call it tag, track, and ID. So what does that tell you? They want to tag you, they want to track you, and they want to identify who you are. If you are watching these channels, if you are informed, if you are awake on these issues, they want to tag you, they want to track you, and they want to know exactly who you are to do what? Go to Project Zypher, come and round you up in the black of night in a military vehicle and throw you in some torture camp somewhere. Yeah, yeah. And- Chip your ass. Yeah. With the RFID chip. Let's just get to the root of the matter. Yeah. All that is being done so they can put that RFID chip in you, man. Yeah. You know? That's all that's all that's culminating to one thing, putting that RFID chip in you, which is the mark of the beast. Go ahead. Uh, uh, you were done, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah you had one. Yeah. Oh, you done? You got a scripture? You went to the... Oh, okay. Yeah, I got this. You got, you got something you want to bring up? No. Okay, yeah, I got a scripture right here. You so, so my, you, you ain't had it no more. The way it's on use for. Okay, brother. All right, uh, just you know, I know it was a while ago, and the dude said, "Y'all, why you happy dollars going by?" There's a whole lot of scriptures about being happy. All right. 
right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I just want to bring this one scripture out. This is uh this is Psalms 137 and 9. No, Psalms 1 said I saw that one Psalms 150. Psalms 130, Psalms 137 and 8. O daughter of Babylon, which is America, okay, who ought to be destroyed, because America is going to be destroyed by the nuclear missiles, all right? By Yahweh Shai coming down, bringing, he's coming on that giant size Shari shooting the lace out of it, along with Michael our Angel and the other angels with the other chariots, which is so called white men call them um, unidentifiable. Aerial phenomenon, or you know what I'm saying, UFOs, okay, Un unidentifiable flying objects. It says, "O daughter Babylon, who ought to be destroyed?" So America's gonna be destroyed. Happy shall he be. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Talk about it. it says, "Happy shall he be." Yahweh yeah. Hashem Yahweh Happy shall he be that rewarded thee. As thou hast served us, how did you serve the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and, and Native Americans? You served us with rape, robbery, and murder and slavery, man. Okay, it says, "Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee." And how? And how are you going to be rewarded? I got it right here. There you go. Bring it out. <laughs> going into the being happy too. This, this Revelation eighteen and seventeen. For then, for then one hour. So great riches has come to naught, mm -hmm. and every shipmaster and all the company of ships and sailors, and as many as trade by sea stood afar off, mm -hmm. and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, "What city like unto this great city?" All right, and it says, "And they cast dust upon their heads." All right, and cried weeping and wailing, saying, "Alas, alas, that great city wherein." were made rich wherein which is within wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by the reason of, of her costlessness for in one hour is she made desolate that's the point rejoice over her thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets for the most high has avenged you on her <clears throat> Hey, there you go. There you go. I want to leave this off. Just <clears throat> this is, you know, this is for you to, you know, they like to take down videos and so forth because of the word of the Hawa Shah is coming out. Ninth verse, Psalms 137 and 9. Happy shall he be. All right, the elect men of the Lord, the Hawa Bahashimi Hawa Shah, that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Okay. You know, so YouTube, you can take down the video for that scripture. That's talking about how Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, and the kingdom of heaven is going to be doing to your little ones. Okay? And you know what little ones is talking about. All right? Babies, little kids. All right? And dash them against the stones. Because that's what you did to the nation of Israel. Alligator bait, so-called black man, black woman, you know, uh, West Indian Haitians, uh, you Latinos, man, you had them in mines, picking up gold, silver, uh, diamonds and pearls and rubies and emeralds and sapphires, man. You had them pearl diving in a cold sea, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you split the pregnant Taino woman's stomach open. You Spaniards, you conquistadors, the so-called white man when he took over Spain, and he came over to the Western Hemisphere on this side. To the Americas used to split their stomach open and stomp on the baby, man. Pregnant women's stomachs open and stomp on the baby and feed them to ravenous dogs. Okay? All right? So, guess what? It's coming back on you, but it's coming back on you, W. And with that, hope you've been edified. Shalom. 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 Shalom.